back to my first studio spooky here. So we're going to pick up where we left off on the last one. <laughs> we can't fight the adventure. Lila and I learned how to take on the form of our familiar with it. Our familiar. <clears throat> and found out that, of course, in the interest of organized religion, Cameron's calling us the malcontents. Oh my god same age-old story when you have an old religion being practiced and you have the new way of thinking or a new religion come up. This ought to be interesting. So let's get moving into it. How are things going? Oh, busy, busy. We've ordered jugs of water from Milk Water. Everyone seems to need more than the town pipes can supply. So if you need some water, they should be coming off the ferry soon. Oh, and if you have any eggs to sell, that would be great. Marty's hardly got any lately. <sighs> I can't wait until this dry spell is over. Yum, this looks great, Tara. There's something fascinating about that tree in particular. Uh, who? I, oh, it's you. Beg pardon. My hearing isn't what it used to be. To answer your question, Every tree is fascinating. Ever since I started living out here, I tried to treat them as individuals. Each tree has stories after all. Tell me, did you ever get to know the natural world back in the city? My apartment was small and I didn't get much light, but I grew what I could on the balcony. <sighs> Good with plants and the like even then, I see. I used to live in the city myself, but I left. Must have been some time ago. And I'm not keen on returning. Do you prefer life here? Oh, yes. It's not easier, that's for certain. But it's bigger, brighter, more colorful. <laughs> Lena always expects me to come visit Marcus in Milkwater, and don't get me wrong, I'm happy to, but I wish she made more time to come visit my mom in the city. Nice weather, huh? You know, I should snap a pic and text it to Dad. You don't have to run off to the Bahamas just to get some sunshine. What? Uh, just... just talking to myself.
I know you don't sit Shiva, but I wanted to give you this anyway. Thank you, Sophia. As a community, it's our job to come and lift you up in your time of mourning. Well, I guess the fish are the only ones who don't have to worry about running out of water. Hey, eh, Bruno? They might not, but I do. I barely got enough to keep my ice machine going and my fish fresh. I'll buy what you got to sell now, young miss, but I might have to close up soon if it gets much hotter. And to make things worse, Damon's keeping me to a two-drink limit. I'm parched! You sure you want a simple fella like me to have this? Hi, Damon. Gosh, you must be the one person whose business is doing well in the drought. Well, the problem with being the local watering hole is, you have to have water to make beer. I've been bringing jugs of water over the ferry, but the prices keep going up. My taps may be running dry soon. <sighs> I'm not sure I have the heart to tell Bruno. Hey, this is just like my dad makes. I mean, it's not as good as his version, but this is the best you can get in Fairhaven. It shouldn't be possible to have a drought on an island. An island. Surrounded by water.
I keep telling myself I'm not gonna stop by Emmy and Finn's lemonade stand again, but oh, I always do. When it's so hot out, there's nothing better than citrus and sugar. Ooh, maybe I'll bake some lemon tarts. Hi, Giva. I hope the drought isn't messing with your instruments. On the contrary, I couldn't have asked for anything better. This drought is isolated to Fairhaven. It isn't occurring in milk water, which makes it perfect for research. I want to take several groundwater samples and see how much moisture remains in the soil. This drought can't be that special. That's what everyone here seems to think, but I just can't believe that. Hi, Cameron. This is your first Fairhaven summer too, right? <sighs> sure is. Come by the Consciousness Center anytime you need a break from the heat. We just installed new air conditioning. Not that air conditioning is a reason to go to a seminar, but it's not not a reason, am I right? Tara, Violet, was your mission successful? <laughs> was it ever! Once Ariel taught us how to transmogrify, we practically waltzed into the center. Dragging that journal away in cat form wasn't easy, but we managed it. He started a heading for a list here, possible malcontents. No names on it yet, though. That confirms my suspicions. This isn't just idle talk. Thank you, you two. You were excellent. What can I say? We make... Formidable spies. And you've performed admirably in your shape-shifting abilities. You may now shape-shift responsibly into a cat familiar after creating shape-shifting incantations of your own. In cat form, you'll be able to utilize their swift reflexes to catch fish and other useful items. Also, while the cat is in control, your body can be resting, so it allows for more hours in the day. Well done, both of you. <clears throat> we 
will we be seeing your familiar at the Coven Circle anytime soon? Nah, he's a beaver, so he doesn't come around here. But if you see any dams, make sure you shout, Good job, buddy! What about you, Adept? Is your familiar around here somewhere? Of course. She's a red fox that Ariel rescued from a trap a few years ago. She's a little skittish, but ugh, I adore her. Shelby, do you have a familiar too? I got uh, four right now, but I've had more. <laughs> only fools think you can have only one familiar. Your life changes every day, doesn't it? So the head of the Fairhaven Coven is my former babysitter, Lena? Don't say it. But no one can hear us out here, and you're not wearing your mask. It's the principle of the thing. Should I go to bed? I'll need to brew some crystal ball potion in the cauldron.
It was Grandma's broom. I guess it's my broom now. Listen to that purr! Meow. Aww, still loving that, aren't ya?
Keenly done. Thank you. Sure, I'll take that off your hands. Perry always gets excited to see if we'll receive offerings during the summer festival. Milk and honey are fine, I suppose, but how come nobody leaves books as offerings? So much, Tara. These are my favorite.
This is liquor. I've been so in the weeds with bar suppliers lately, I haven't had time for anything else. You know, you really saved me here. Time for bed.
You that swim, run, or fly. Please let me travel in your mind's eye. Wow, that's cool. Okay, so I can still collect stuff, I just can't I can't dig in the holes. It's okay.
This makes fishing a whole lot easier. Should I go to sleep? I will wake up in my human form.
This will make farm chores a little easier. I thought you said the land here was ripe for all kinds of development. It is. But mucking around with public land won't go over well with my voters. <sighs> I'll tell you what doesn't go over well. No water for anyone, your voters included. What exactly is your plan, Mayor Soft? Uh, what's that about development? Oh, uh, I was just telling Otto about my personal development plans. Mm -hmm. I came to Fairhaven to allow my soul to bloom. Just like Thoreau, as the great man said, I went to the woods because I wish to live deliciously. I think he said deliberately, not deliciously. Well, sure, he could have said that too. <laughs> I was just stopping by to tell Marty that Fairhaven will always provide for his livestock, even in the lean times. Tara, Marty, have a good one. <clears throat> <clears throat> Animals are absolute sponges, you know that? I'm sure your crops are the same way. Ah, nature. So beautiful, so fearsome. You are an odd duck. Here is your animal, now. What would you like to call her? Daisy. That's definitely a name. Here's your animal. Now, what would you like to call her? Maple. That's definitely a name.
Hello, constituent. Faring well in the heat? I feel like a melted candle. Yes, well, we all must sacrifice to get through this drought together. Oh? What are you sacrificing? Well, you know... Things. I must go. Important town business awaits. This drought is making everyone miserable. Huh. I wonder if some witchcraft is in order. I know it's cliche, but this Russian lady sure loves a drop of fine vodka. I want to be better friends with Vanessa. She's the only other woman who regularly comes to the Consciousness Center. But she's so regal, you know? Does she have friends? Does she even need them? Marty Emerson came by my clinic, asking for antihistamines. Strange that a man who is allergic to animals would choose to open a ranch. Judging by the bite on his hand, <laughs> I better keep plenty of antibiotics in stock too. You sure have been keeping Parker busy. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, I don't mind. He loves restoring all the little details on old houses. If it was up to him, we'd go off island to hit up antique markets every weekend. Mm-hmm. 
Thomas told me his well is running dry. Yes, summers here in Fairhaven are always hotter and drier as they wear on. The growing trees and crops will drain the groundwater until the harvest time. Is there anything we can do? A summon rain incantation might bring some relief. Here's what you need. Bring it back here to the circle when you have it ready. What's up? I've been thinking this summer about taking charge of my grief. Like Vanessa said, a group. I want to go through the standing stones and see if I can find out what happened to my mom. I don't think that's what Vanessa meant. Maybe not, but it's what I need to do. I have to find her. But we can't get in. Yes, we can. We just need a keystone. And I know where one is. Have you ever noticed that weird rock in the town hall display case? Yes. There's a sign that it says it's not native to the region, but was found in the mine. It was found there after Mom disappeared and Lena's dad lost his memory. I don't know who put it in the mine, but it doesn't belong in Town Hall. It belongs to the Coven. But the High Priestess doesn't want us to take it back and arouse suspicion. She says it's safer to stay out of the gloaming. Maybe she's right, Violet. Your mom and Lena's dad were much more powerful witches than we are. My mom would never have left one of us behind in there. And now? I'm old enough to go in after her. Oh yeah, let's do it. Ah, what the heck? Let's pull off a heist. <laughs> now that's more like it. No one will even notice us go into Town Hall as long as we're careful. We don't have to sneak past any people this time. Just some pesky locks. So, we'll need two lockpick incantations. One for the Town Hall front door, and one for the display case. I'm on Wellspring duty all week. And you're better at incantations anyway. Come visit me when you're ready. But remember to, you know, be cool about it. <laughs> it's time for a heist.
Okay, folks, I'm going to cut it here for now. So, oh, looks like we have a heist and a rain summoning spell on our hands to um, <laughs> play with. So, we will do that in the next episode. Meanwhile, I will scout out resources and see what all we need for the new incantations and if I have to go uh, resourcing on the back end. So, thanks for joining me. Please like and subscribe and... We will continue with Terra's adventures on the next part, which I believe is part 2021? 20, One of those. So, talk to you later. Bye for now.